In working with dimensions, I have a number of tools that I can use to edit. The one I'll use the most is, is my grips. When you click on any dimension, you'll notice that its grips light up. I can choose any of these grips to make them active. This gives me the ability to change the placement of the dimension, or I can click on the grip representing the text, and I can place that text at different locations along my dimension line or even outside of the dimension line. In the case of this angled dimension, I can click on the grip that represents the text and move that outside, or I can move it back inside, or I can click on the grip and change its location, which will also change how the arrowheads are placed. And with any dimension, if I click and activate it, I can right click the mouse and you notice I have some shortcut menus here. I can change the position of the text. I can change the precision of the text for just this specific dimension. This doesn't change my whole style. I can change the style and I can flip the arrow. If I flip the arrow, in this case you notice that that arrow moved to the outside. I'd have to go to this side and choose it and then I would have to say flip arrow on the other side to get both of the arrows to the outside. There are times when I need to add additional text to the automatically generated text uh, for my dimension. Let's look in the case of this drawing. I have two holes. I'm going to dimension this with its diameter. So I'll get a diameter, click on it, and stretch my leader out to show the dimension. In this case I don't want to dimension the diameter of both circles but rather add the text to this one that says that they're both the same size. I'll do this by using a dim edit command. I'm going to enter this from the keyboard dim edit and I have some choices here Home would move my dimension back to its original position or its default position. New lets me add some new text. Rotate, I can rotate the dimensional information. Or I can oblique it to an oblique angle. I'm going to choose New. And notice that a small text editing box opens and that now on my ribbon panel I have my multi-line text editor. You can see the blinking cursor, which means that anything I type now is going to be put in in front of the current information. This information that's highlighted kind of in purple here is the information that is already in the dimension. I want to add after the existing information. If I were to delete the existing information, it would delete the dimension text. So I'm going to use my arrow key to arrow over to the other side of the existing text put in a space and I'm going to say two holes and then I'll close the text editor and then it's asking me to select objects where I want this new text to be placed so I click and hit enter and that text is added to the dimension text I have some additional text editing tools that are located on my dimension palette in the flyout. I'm going to pin this down so we can look at a few of these. And here I have my restore default text position, which is actually part of my dim edit. If I click on this and then click on a dimension, it will return it to its default position. So before it was this leader was stretched, this would have been its default position. Here I can rotate the text angle. If I click on this, click on a dimension, I can give an angle, say 45 degrees, if I wanted my dimension text to be placed at an angle. Here I can work with justification. So if I wanted to justify my uh, dimension text to the left, or if I wanted to justify it to the center, or if I wanted to justify it to the right.
The settings of the dimension variables are held in my dimension style. The current style is shown here on this drop down list on my dimensions palette. It also shows any other dim dimension styles that are available in this particular drawing. I also have access to my dimension style manager which allows me to make changes to the dimension style as they are applied to this particular drawing. If I need to look at the properties of a specific dimension, I can click on that dimension, right click the mouse, and choose properties, which opens my properties palette. For this particular dimension, it lists all of the variables. Things like lines and arrows, the text, the fit, primary units, these are all things that I would find in my dimension style manager. When I make an, an edit to any of these variables on this palette, I'm only affecting this specific dimension.